welcome to the windows channel and this is a quick look at the well a review basically of the latest build of windows 10 fall creators update that was released yesterday july 26th and i was uh, testing it and of course made sure that i could uh, see how stable and how good it is so 16 to 5 one arrived yesterday of course uh first of all the install process uh, flawless and um, both my windows 10 home and pro insider machines upgraded with no issues at all one of the things that's interesting is of course i decided yesterday to instead of you know look at the install process and go crazy over the fact that it's really long to use my pc as if nothing was happening and of course one of the ideas behind this that I wanted to test out at the same time was the possibility to you know can, can I use my PC while it's taking hours to prepare the install of what the latest build actually you know what even though there's a very high disk usage while it does that I was surprised to see that I could actually yes it was a little slower but I could actually still use my PC quite well to do what I wanted and even if there was a little slowdown, it was not enough to prevent me from using it. And uh, pretty much everything I was doing, including uh, yesterday I was streaming, you know, live shows uh, that I was watching on the internet. And uh, I mean, everything was working fine while the computer was preparing the install. So of course it takes out the, okay, it's very long to install because you do something else. So time, you know, time flies. And then you get to the point of, oh, okay, I'm ready now to restart and install. In the install, of course, it's quite fast. Um, I think it took like 30 minutes, not even 30 minutes on this machine, which is uh, amazingly fast once it's done. Um, any new features in here? Of course, yes. There's a few things that are interesting in here. Uh, one of the first is the ability to, um, and, and we're going to check that out because first, there's one of the things that we didn't, um, you know, really see because at build conference they were looking at the possibilities of course to basically use the phone with your 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 computer and they had demonstrations of all sorts of things and uh, of course you know, i was scared that maybe you know that would not make it as they're starting to give us a list of things that don't make the cut to the fall creators update finally well okay they've been working on it because there's a new feature in settings uh, first of all there's this new tab as you see here this new uh, phone section and here you can actually link your iPhone or Android phone or of course Windows phone to your PC and switch from one or to the other so you can watch something on your PC and say I want to send that to my phone to continue watching it or the other way around now be warned right now it works only on Android it's the only platform that it works with right now, but soon to work with iPhone also. So this is kind of a cool feature. You got to add your phone here, install the apps, the Microsoft apps on your phone. And once that is done uh, and you're, you're on the same, um, of course, you got to be on the same Microsoft account. Uh, it works and I'll be demonstrating that I'll be uh, adding my uh, Android phone and testing it out to see how well it works. So there's uh, this new feature now that's there which is kind of interesting. Um, the other thing is Cortana. Cortana has a few new commands, including the possibility now to uh, shut down your PC. Uh, and now that was something also that was, you know, we wanted to work on and we wanted to, um, to, to do. And a lot of you have been asking, does it work on your computer? And it worked briefly and then was kind of removed and now it's back again. So, hey Cortana, uh, when you do that, and uh, I won't say the rest here because I know that it's going to do what it's want to do. So here it goes. Okay, so now it's uh, off. So you can uh, restart PC, you can turn off PC, you can sign out, and you can lock PC. And I'll be demonstrating that, of course, on a video because I can't do it right now or else the camera will not, the, uh, the, um, the, the screen recording will stop, of course. So these commands are now available um improved boot experience now so um you you can use sign in info 
to apply settings after restart or update. So uh, the advanced Windows update feature to use your sign-in info to automatically finish setting your device after an update has been extended to regular reboots and shutdowns. So when you log in and initiate a reboot or a shutdown through power options available in the start menu uh, in various other locations, Windows will automatically set up your account after it has booted back up. So there's quite a few things. Also, there's the um, registration to, um, you know, with command line options to shut down uh, PC and everything. You can also opt out under the privacy section to the sign in options uh, in the settings. So these are a few little things here. There's some input adjustments like, you know, for the keyboard, for the touch keyboard, uh, for different languages, all sorts of little issues and things that were fixed in here. Edge has a few improvements, uh, better scaling when you are using it in tablet mode. Uh, and they fixed a certain, a uh, few certain options, including a copy link option and copy and paste option that wasn't working quite right. They fixed issues also in here with the PDFs that were not working right. Um, game bar has an improvement. Um, the game bar, of course, is the uh, option where you can turn on um, all sorts of, you know, uh, do some DVR recording of your gaming or streaming and everything. Um, of course, it was always a manual thing. You always had to enable the game bar by default for your games. Well, now game bar is automatically um, automatically on for some specific games. So there are games where it knows that it will just, you know, start the game bar, start the possibility for uh, game bar to default and work and do what you want without you having to go and actually act, uh, use it and click on it, basically. Apart from that, we fixed uh, several issues. One that I had actually in those issues that was fixed is um, the when you use a high DPI screen like I do right now, uh, what happened is that in the high DPI screen, when I would go to the action center, my buttons, for example, to get settings, I had to put my pointer much higher because it wasn't, um, it wasn't synchronized correctly. So I had to actually move my pointer away from the button to have it click. Uh, so they fixed some of these things. They fixed a lot of little issues here and there on a lot of things. There's um, an amazing list of bug fixes in this setting. So that's something that's interesting um, in here too. Now, um, there is a few, of course, there are some problems in here. There's known issues of all sorts. Uh, if you installed build 16.226 to 16.237 and upgrade to this build, storage spaces will not work correctly. While build 16.241 contained a fix for the general reported issue in storage sense. Uh, trying to use dictation with hotkeys might not work correctly. Uh, there's some reports that they are looking at that upgrading to the latest insider preview builds. Some network settings are lost or revert to default. Uh, start action center notification toasts, I mean, at times, have a background that is 100% transparent. You know, we've seen that in uh, notifications in even the start menu. I've actually even posted a video where you guys could see it that instead of seeing the acrylic we see here, it's actually totally transparent. So uh, they, they know about it and they're, they're checking out what they could do and what, how they're going to fix it. Uh, battery flyout might show unexpected text. So um, if, if you want to check your battery if everything's all right and things look weird, it's something they know about. Connecting to a VPN solution downloaded from Windows Store may result in a system crash in this build. Apart from that, what do I think? It's working really well. Um, you know, there's these new few options that I'll be, of course, on the Insider channel showing you, including the uh, phone thing and the Cortana commands. Um, very, very stable build. One of the things that I think uh, surprises me the most in this um, latest batch of, of, of builds, you know, from Fall Creators Update since we've started having these builds, apart from issues with the install that I had sometimes, the builds themselves are extremely, extremely stable. And that is very, very interesting because that was something that was not always the case in previous builds and other years. 
So uh, this is pretty, pretty interesting for that. It, I think it shows that they are really, really making the builds very, very good builds and, and the code is right, you know. And of course, there's always those little glitches here and there, but nothing that prevents you from using this, actually. Um, you know, I mean, this could be my main computer and it would work fine uh, without any issues. So that was the quick look of the latest build of Windows 10. Hope you enjoyed and uh, check it out if you haven't downloaded it yet. Uh, build 16.2.5.1 is, of course, the um, latest in uh, the Fall Creators Update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope that you enjoy our videos. Thank you for watching, and uh, if you have this build, you have installed it, uh, check it out and let me know uh, a little more about, uh, you know, what is uh, happening, what's good or what's bad or what's wrong with uh, your builds.